they heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Oh my gosh, he did an X on that too. Are they trying to get rid of everyone? Well, Ivor's next. Uh, next then. Nope, not happening. Um. But your inventory's clean, right? No flint and steel? Why would he want you? I suppose he's just being thorough. Also, I'm sure I've got something he wants. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the White Pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm going to investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. Okay. How are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Fireplace. Look at Impressive. Anything? Nah. Looks like a regular old fireplace. Alright. Is that another diamond table? Okay. So this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... Portrait? This looks like the exact spot where the white pumpkin appeared. But now, just a portrait. Unless... Unless punch it. Oh, oh my gosh. It's just... A costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for a voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Mm. Wow. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. They must have a reason for it. It must have been a diversion from whatever was going on in the room at the time. What, like you think the White Pumpkin was in the room with us? Possibly. Um, Sandra, look at. Man, poor sparkles. Crushed under sand. Oh, really nasty way to go. All right. Um. Hmm. Lucas? Oh, wait, wait, can I? Button, push! Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. <gasps> oh my gosh! I am the white. It's coming out of that yep. speaker. One of Just you like is before. the treasure I desire, and I will not. Don't rest step on that! Don't step on that! Even if I have to resort. To <gasps> no! Jesse! Don't step on that! He's back! The white pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Dan, the Dan, The whole here. show with the white pumpkin. It was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the white pumpkin is toying with us. He set up this whole house as a trap. And now, he's just watching us get snared in it. Wait, so you're saying that the White Pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. And he sat right 
Yeah. Who sat there? Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Oh my. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far though, right? We need to pull together all our evidence and see how it connects. That tipped arrow means the White Pumpkin is a master brewer, and the trap shows that he's a real redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means that the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I um, echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. Well, someone had to do it. I'm just looking at the facts here. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I've got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Hmm. Um... Uh, Dan. Dan. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about, I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. Oh, I see. Someone stole your loot and you want revenge, huh? That about the long and the short of oh, it? Oh, no, 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 no. I just want what's rightfully mine. I mean, we all want it. Doesn't mean I kill people for it, though. Uh-huh. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Um... Who stole it? Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously. She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. Hmm. So, how would you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Tri-Block Champion. Huh. Tri-Block Champion? Yeah, for three years running. Huh. Good to know. Show him there. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions. Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'll ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. Noted. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Who's up next? Um... Uh... Lizzie. Can you bring in Lizzie? Right. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? So aggravating. 
Wow. Would you kill someone for it? Nah, I wouldn't do that. I'm starting to get real irritated with this white pumpkin fella, though. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Um... Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kinda shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Stampy asked me once about how to make those. Could be one of his. Plus, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. Hmm. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. So I've heard. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I hadn't enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. I wouldn't put it past Stampy, though. He'd love the chance to explore other worlds. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Want me to send in Stampy? Yeah, send him in. Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy! Absolutely crazy! Total misunderstanding! I don't even want that flint and steel thingy! Not, um, as much as the others at any rate! Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals! No, sir! Not for all Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you! <laughs> it's me, Stampy! Everyone's friend! Um... Ah, oh, come on now, Mr. Stampy. I thought you were some legendary adventurer. You want me to believe that you don't want an ancient artifact that lets you travel to different worlds? Oh, I mean, that does sound tempting, but, uh, no, no, thank you. I'm fine with my local legend status. I'm a man of simple pleasures. <laughs> Please, just tell me what you want to know. Um... What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average? Average level? Moderate? I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's funny, because I heard you know all about redstone. What? What, uh, what are you talking about? Everyone says you're the best at redstone. Something about being tri-block champion. Okay, 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 fine. You caught me. I do know redstone. I'm technically even an expert. But I would never kill anyone, I swear! You have to believe me, honest. Um... Yeah. Know anything about this? Oh, wow! What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest, you know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> you took things, you. Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Oh, come on! This is nuts. You had a button too. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. So hard to say. 
I mean, the way they keep throwing each other on the minecart tracks, it's like they're all guilty. Well, if there's one person who can untangle it, it's you. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. Yeah. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? Now, hang on, hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jessie? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I actually don't think there's evidence enough to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure. And I'm not. Wow. Way to take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine. Suit yourself. Yeah. I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> um. Well, okay. that was certainly some excitement. Yeah. No kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. Petra's got a good point. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. Yeah. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Um... Buttons like back in the dining room? Conspicuous white pumpkins lying around? This whole house could be full of traps. I just want to make sure this place is safe before someone else gets hurt. An excellent plan. Alright, let's do this. Have a trap. Huh. I wonder where Torque Dog's stuff went when it got sucked away. And Sparkle's stuff, for that matter. Hmm. Um, let's go look at the painting. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How'd I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Punch. Oh! It's some sort of secret passageway. Very clever. What do you suppose that lever does? Oh my. I so I had to pull it. Okay, everyone. Make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. More of those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. Well, seems like we found out how the White Pumpkin killed Torque Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well, after you then. Dan's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Unless Dan is the White Pumpkin. In that case, we're just keeping everyone else safe. Yeah, I guess. I just hope we find what we're looking for. Oh my. What do you think that is? What's that? No idea. But look, but what if a lever! Don't! Don't pull it! The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place! Amazing! Yeah, and deadly. Ivor, no! What do you think I am? Dance! I was 
just looking at it. Oh, good. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. See anything that this lever might be connected to? <laughs> I'm in the body. What do you see? It's the library. Oh, there's Dan. I see Dan locked up in there. Oh, my. Lizzie, what are you doing in here? I snuck him past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. We have to talk. About what? I know you pushed the button. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the white pumpkin. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. Yeah, it was an accident, and I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been absolutely tearing me up inside. I'm sure. <gasps> I just, oh my. Haven't you learned anything about not pushing buttons? Oh, the come on. Nothing like this has ever happened when I pushed the button. I feel just so awful. Punch. <laughs> what, what on earth? There's a white pumpkin. Um, which one should I buy? Um, you. No, no, this is. Oh no! What a shame. Enjoying the party. <laughs> Died. Oh my gosh, let's try this again. Ha, ha, ha. 
Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. Okay. Yeah, this looks pretty bad. Lucas, you're the White Pumpkin? What? No, of course not. How, how could you even... Look, I was, I was running after him, and then he punched me in the neck and stuck my head in this pumpkin. Well, what's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the White Pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. Come on, you guys, think about it. Lucas would have never had the time. That's not exactly much assurance. You two have been constantly running around this mansion with no one watching you. Yeah, for all we know, maybe you're his little accomplice or something. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now, Lizzie has gone too. Lizzie? I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside? Outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Hmm. Brave stance. Thank you. Ah, <sighs> thank you. See, you all heard Dan, right? Fine. <sighs> thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? funny because I don't trust you it's fine Jesse I'll watch over Lucas awesome come on Cassie but don't go getting any funny ideas blonde guy this isn't because I like you or anything no of course not be quiet prisoners aren't supposed to talk okay well what are we supposed to do now we need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. Somehow, the White Pumpkin was able to escape that room when Lucas chased him into it. We need to figure out how he did that. Sounds like a plan to me. Hmm. All right. Um... Let's talk to Petra. How are things with you? Oh, you know, just peachy. Stuck in a house with a masked killer. One of my best friends is the current top suspect. It was really nice of Ivor to step up like that, though. Yeah. I didn't think he had it in him. Yeah, that guy can still surprise me sometimes. Agreed. I think there's a lot more there than meets the eye. Okay, well, I vote we get back to it. Don't want to leave poor Lucas in that closet for too long. Alright, let's talk to Stacy. What do you want? You've been pretty aggro accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Not nearly as suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. Don't go anywhere, Stacy. <sighs> sure. Alright. Talk to Stampy and Ben. Dan, I know that you're innocent, but you're still a suspect, Stampy Cat. Got some questions. Seriously? Where were you when the chase with the White Pumpkin was going on? I... I don't want to say. Ah, oh, come on, Stampy. You're just making yourself look more guilty. Where were you? 
Fine. I was sitting in a corner, humming to myself. It calms me down. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll leave you guys to it. Uh -huh. Sounds good. Alright. Um... Let's go look at the portrait again. that all right hmm. we go over here no all right so I maybe wait punch punch Promising. I wonder what order these need to be in. Hmm. All right. So the that was first, and then the sand was second, and the cobweb was oh. Okay, that seems like a step in the right and direction. And then the cobweb was third. Then put the sand there. Mm, yeah, that seems right. Put the sand there. There we go. Awesome. Oh, okay. Oh, wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. Could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did you it? You haven't proven that he didn't yet. Technically true. Patra, let it go, okay? They're just scared. Fine, but if she says something like that again... Yeah, I really wouldn't want to be there for that. Come on. Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the white pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the white pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Frustrating. Petra, I get that you're upset, but would you stop taking it out on me? I'm trying here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm really sorry. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily, those should do just the trick. Oh, yeah, we're gonna make ladders. Alright. You thinking ladder? Oh, yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. Alright. Oh, we have a lot of sticks out here. Alright. <laughs> Done. Don't. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. Alright, we've got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. Look at all those. Oops. 
place. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. <sighs> <laughs> Lots more to go. 